Welcome back to the Pocket Pals YouTube channel. My name is Danny, and I'm the co-founder of Pocket Pals. And today I'm going through the texturing of one of our new animals in the app. So we've just released four new insects into Pocket Pals, and one of those is the forest cuckoo bumblebee, or Bombus sylvestris. And I'm gonna show you how we textured it. Let's begin. So on the right, I have Maya, which is an animation software. I don't know how to use it. Well, I'm using it to texture, but I don't know how to create models from scratch. Um, so this, this bumblebee has been made from scratch by one of our 3D animators. When I click on an area on the model, it appears on the unwrapped UV. Um, and you use that unwrapped UV to colour it in on Photoshop. Um, so basically, what that means is that each sort of area is unwrapped. So you've got like the outer handle, the inner handle, the whole of the mug, the bottom, so it's, it's quite similar. Um, so you'll have like the top of the wing, the bottom of the wing, the top of the thorax, the, the eye, this, you know. Okay, so now in Photoshop, something I like doing is adding coloured spots on areas of the UV so that when I update the um, model, I can work out where I am. So that just helps me. Um, also adding colours on the thorax and the abdomen just so I know what's the top and what's the bottom and so when I up update the model you can see those different colour spots so I know the green spot is the top right. Okay and so on Photoshop I also have reference images open so I've got one is an illustration of a male and female forest cuckoo bumblebee. Um, the model looks more like a male so I've made it a male. Um, and I also have a real image of a photograph of the bumblebee so I can use it to reference colours. Another thing I like to do is use reference images for wings. So I have gone onto Google and found a basic bumblebee wing. Um, I've then brought that into um, Photoshop. Um, I have cut around it and then now I'm warping it so it fits my wing, what the bumblebee's wing. Um, and then I'm going to open up two new layers. The top layer will be black lines, which will be these, these lines um, on the wing. And then the, the layer underneath will be that creamy, um, creamy white colour. Um, and so I basically recreate the wing. Um, that looks pretty good. Um, so then what I do is then I copy that layer um, and I flip it so that then I can use that wing as the other wings. Um, it might need slight um, changing of scale and size, um, but they're pretty much the same. Didn't take me very long. And then the next bit is sort of the body. To begin with, I'm doing the abdomen and then doing the different stripes. Um, I often use the Latin name for reference images because then you're not gonna get a different bumblebee or a different type of moth. Um, I often add new layers, but I always merge them down into one layer. It's also really useful labeling the layers so I've got one that's the UV and one is the background um, and I always have the UV locked so I can't move it um, because if you move it and then you're colouring in your colour layer and you mess up then it's a right pain um, so yeah it's starting to look like a bee um, constantly using the reference image um, with all the pocket pals, they've got these little white, um, like light sort of highlights in their eyes. Um, so although the bumblebee's eyes are made up of thousands of eyes, um, we still add the little white bit um, just because it it stays with the theme. It looks charismatic. 
uh, makes him look quite cute. Um, also, because the head is quite a similar colour to the eyes, I added that light border around the eyes, that yellow border. They don't actually have that, it just makes it um, more obvious that those are eyes. Um, another thing I did was some hairs. So when you look at a bee, they actually look quite fluffy. Um, and so I downloaded a hairbrush tool off Google um, and there's loads you can download for free. Um, the first one I downloaded didn't look very nice, the second one was pretty good, so this is what I'm using. Um, and I'm just using um, the tool to basically make it more, look a bit more real and fluffy because it's looking a bit flat. Um, so I'm doing this on all the yellow areas. Okay, so I think he looks pretty good now. Um, the next stage would be that the 3D animators rig him. So they'll basically put a, a skeleton into him and then they'll animate him so they can, so that the bee can move his little legs and fly. Um, and then he will go into the app. Um, obviously it's a bit more complicated than that, but I don't know how it works. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and learn a bit about texturing and the process of bringing an animal into pocket pals.